So the design process for the car initially starts with a review of the car from the year before, find out the performance of each logo, how it works, um, what areas we have visible. We then overlay that information and research with the new car shape and design from the aero department. From there we then look at simple sketches and uh, flow lines and initial gestures for the car. We then build that up on the computer and in 3D to see how that comes out in CAD. During this process, it's not just the people here at Mercedes-AMG Petronas Formula One team, it's also a team at Mercedes-Benz Design as well as Ineos. We work closely with the designers over there to make sure that their brand identity comes through and is as strong as it can be on the car. cars here, um, we're going into the process of going from design into the production phase. The paint shops and the painters here are just getting the car prepared so as we can start lining out our initial gesture lines. From there, they will move into the more production side. Another important part of the car design and element is the star pattern. It's a way of applying branding on the car without actually applying the logo, but still creating that connection back to Mercedes-Benz. As a part of this star pattern, we also include one red star. This is for Nicky Lauda. Since his passing a few years ago, every Mercedes F1 car has run a red star in honor of Nicky. So with any paint process, uh, we always tend to have around three stages of that, and that will be a primer, followed by a base coat and then finishing off with a clear or even a matte clear process. Weight's a big factor. We work really closely with the uh, factory to ensure that what we're putting in the car is weight minimal. We can just help provide the best performance we can. I remember the first time I've ever done one, I think it was 2012, and it was Michael Schumacher's car. And to paint someone's car who I've only ever seen on TV, you know, it's a little bit overwhelming to start off with, but an excellent opportunity. Sherwin Williams is a really good product to use and we're happy with the way it goes on. I think it saved us time and performance in the long run as well. Colour is obviously an important part of the car design. We work closely with the paint shop here to make sure that our colours come across not only in real life but also on camera. Colours have a tendency to appear quite dark and change colour depending on your screen or even in real life depending on the light conditions. So we try to build and develop a colour that's as stable as possible to stay true to its original desired output. Painted the Formula One car this season, it's a tiny bit tricky in last year. We've got multiple colours this year. We've gone for a gloss livery rather than matte, so we can flat and polish it up to a nice high gloss. So the paint gives a very nice finish. The first time I painted a F1 car for a season, seeing it on the telly, it didn't feel real at first, but then when you start seeing the close-ups and then you remember, oh yeah, I did that. Knowing that everyone around the world was gonna see that and so your paint finish <laughs> does make you feel quite good. <laughs> Mark and I are just putting the finishing touches to the car with the application of the final sponsor logos. After this, it'll be over to the technical team to build the car ready for testing. And that's the delivery process start to finish.